Okay, Terence, you got me into this very interesting obstacle here behind me. Can you maybe just explain a bit for us what's happening? Well, it's a natural cross-axle situation in the 4x4 Paradise uh, set of obstacles. And um, I actually stopped you here because it's a very interesting uh, example of the difference between independent uh, suspension and the solid beam axle. So the front of the car, of your car, has got independent suspension. So this wheel on the passenger side can come up and down of its own accord without interfering what happens with the wheel on the driver's side. And if you follow me around, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This one, because it's got a big drop in front of it here, it's got uh, room for two fists between the top of the tire and the body of the car. Now follow me onto the other side and I'll show you. I cannot even put my fist in here because it's already compressed right up into the car. I can only put like three fingers. So this is moved right up into the body into the bodywork of the car. However, do you see? It's still parallel with the side of the car. Yes. Okay, the same with the other one. It's also parallel. It stays straight up and down. Now have a look at the back. From there, have a look at the back wheel. Stay right there and have a look. You see the top of the wheel is sticking out. If you go more to the inside of the of the car, you'll see that it's actually sticking out a lot at the top and it's sticking in at the bottom. Yes. Come and have a look as well. Have a look at the gap between the, 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 the bodywork and the, and the top of the wheel. It's got like four fists space. You can and put half your body in there. Exactly, and have a look at the other side. It'll be compressed right into the body. And the opposite is quite the case here. I can't even put my finger in here. The opposite is quite the case. The top of this wheel is in and the bottom of it is out. And I'll show you why that is the case. It's got a solid beam axle. So if you look underneath the car, we're going to be a little bit careful here because it's rocking. You see the, the axle is one solid piece of metal all the way across, except for the differential gear in the middle. So what it is, is if this one comes down on the right, it actually moves the axle down like that. So obviously it pushes the wheel out like this. So that's why when this one comes down or tries to come down, it influences this one as well. So this is why it's not called independent. The front is independent. This is the opposite. This is called a solid beam axle. However, solid beam axle, remember, is very good because it gives you much more strength. It's much more it's sturdier and it's also good for clearance because it gives you a bit more clearance. So one of the uh, sacrifices you make, the independent suspension on the front, you got less clearance when you're going over nasty rocks etc. But on the road when you're driving home it's very comfortable. Okay.